This is Michael Hurst at Highland Hill Farm, and he's going to tell us about a bug that was caught at Burger King. Yes, my pop, my grandpa always go out to Burger King every morning, and they always bring me back something. Sometimes it's sandwiches, sometimes it's a penny they find on the ground. Well, today they found this great big bug, and they have to bring it back to me. And I'll let you see it for a second, so I'm not going to show it for long, so it might fly out. But it's the cicada. Now, I didn't believe... I don't know if you can see it, but I didn't believe that they caught a cicada inside Burger King. But apparently it got in there somehow through the door and it was flying around. And my crazy dad went over there and grabbed it with his hand. I don't know how, it, I don't know. I can't catch him when it's on a branch, but he caught it in, I don't know. It's hard to believe, but they say they caught this in Burger King. This must be the biggest bug ever captured in a Burger King in North America. Okay, Absolutely now. crazy. Now, tell us, tell them a little bit about the, the cicada and its life cycle. Oh, well, the cicada is a really cool insect. It's, uh, it's got different stages that it grows. It starts out as an egg, and then it goes into a juvenile where it, it lives underneath the ground. Now, there's different kinds. There's kinds that live for different periods of length. The most common is a 17-year life science span, where it's underneath the ground for 17 years. There's another one that's for 21 and I don't know how common that is, but I don't think it's as common as the 17. But it lives underneath the ground by itself, solitary, very slow moving, feeds on the roots every now and then. But it's solitary, very long lived insect, which is amazing. Then somehow, un that we don't know, they all come up out of the ground in the spring, all out about the same time. And they go up and they become completely different, they become gregarious. They become part of a group. They uh, are very noisy, very active, all during this very brief point in their life where they mate and they put more eggs in the ground and then they die. It's absolutely weird how one population can lay its eggs and all the eggs, they live underneath the ground for about 17 years Then, without any form of communication between each bug, they all emerge at the same time they all cluster together about the same area. They all make a bunch of noise. They make and they die. It's just absolutely amazing that can happen. And it comes in, there are huge swarms. And in areas where there's these huge swarms, they fly all around. And so when, you know, you have a building that's next to a swarm that's outside, it's quite possible for those bugs to fly inside because oh, they yeah. are all over. Yeah. Yeah, that's but right. they're, they're very difficult to catch. Oh, they are. I, try, I do catch them every now and then, but it, it takes a long time to catch. <laughs> Another thing also is they do form in groups, and then when they're in groups, it's very, very noisy. And the early colonists, they always heard these plagues about in Egypt, about the cicadas and the locusts. And they heard this, and they always thought the same thing, like, oh, there's a plague coming, this is bad. And the Native Americans, when they heard it, they always thought there was an evil spirit around. So it is, it is quite daunting when you hear a million of them in the trees. And, that's all you hear is that. You don't hear any of the birds or anything, because they're just so noisy. And you can eat these, can you not? I haven't, but I bet you could, yeah. What would be the best way to, to serve these? <laughs> Sautéed? Yeah, probably. Or just pop it in your mouth. I bet it's probably very crunchy. I bet it's crunchy. You know, it would be pretty cool if you put it in chocolate or something like that. Chocolate-covered cicada? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then feed it to your enemies. <laughs> yep. Okay, well, thank you very much. Mike is here at Island Hill Farm, and he answers all kinds of weird questions. He's a Mr. Know-it-all. Oh, sure. He knows all about <laughs> bugs, bees, and uh, trees, and flowers. Yeah. So if you have a question about your trees, give us a call. Mr. Michael here would be glad to answer them. His telephone number is 215-651-8329. He's at Highland Hill Farm in Doylestown, PA. And yes, I did capture this at Burger King. And my father, Grand yes. Grandpa's over here, is that absolutely the facts? You did find inside Burger King. Period. God, I got our big one, right? I got the big bug of Burger King right here. Okay, thank you very much, Mike. There's the bug from Burger King. Does he flap his wings for the for the people? Sure, most certainly will. If he's going to do it now. Come on.
At Highland Hill Farm, we have a lot of different kinds of trees for you. We have both deciduous and evergreen. Some of the spruces that we have are like Colorado Bruce spruce, Norway spruce, white spruce, Serbian, Black Hill spruce, black spruce. We also have some firs, such as Fraser, Balsam, Douglas, and Concolor. Most of these are in seedling or transplants. We do have larger trees, such as white pine, Norway spruce. We also sell a whole range of arborvitas in many different sizes, from transplants up to large trees. The trees that we sell are both bare root and bald and burlap and potted. We have thousands of them that we grow. We also have southwestern white pine, and we are noted for our green giant arborvitas and Leland cypresses. We also have hemlocks up to 10 to 12 foot high, along with redwoods. We can also supply you with some bald cypress, larch, eastern red cedar. In the way of shrubs, we have arrowwood viburnums, bayberry, black hall viburnums, a whole range of viburnums, dogwoods, red, twig, silky dogwoods, elderberries. We also have forsythia, common lilacs, Japanese lilacs, Peking lilacs. We also have nana berry, nine bark, and things such as Russian olive, which some people think are is invasive. But we do sell a wide range of trees and shrubs, including winterberry holly. So give us a call at 215-651-8329 as we do deliver and we deliver and plant.